Hi, in this video we are going to see how to externalize the audit data of a JBPM project to an external JMS system. Uh, Often times it is required to have a, a common data store where all the audit logs of a large business process that spans across multiple BPM engines are collected so that a holistic process monitoring or process auditing could be done. So this could be done easily f- uh, from JBPM with the help of externalization of the audit data to an external JMS system. For instance, multiple projects could connect to the same JMS and can publish the audit data to the same JMS and from there the data can be sent to a centralized data store from where the actual process auditing, visualization, KPA analysis and so on could be carried out. So let's see how to do that with JBPM7. So the first thing is to set up the external JMS uh, system. So in this case, since we have uh, a Wildfly application server with us, so we can just create a new uh, JMS system here itself. So let's go to the subsystems and then messaging, active MQ and messaging provider and I'm going to use the default messaging provider for this uh, example and let's go to the JMS queues and topics and I've actually created a new queue which is called KIE audit and this is the queue which is going to hold all the audit logs or the audit information that is generated as the control flow passes through the process execution and uh, the name of the queue is KE audit and the JNDI name is Java JMS QKE audit and it's it's durable as well and once the uh, messaging provider uh, and the underlying queue to which the audit data is in which the audit data is going to be stored is defined then the next step is to go back to the JBPM project and uh, start configuring the event listeners in a way that it can send the audit logs to the JMS as well. So let's go to the JBPM workbench and let's select a project. We have a sample project here called JBPM audit JMS and let's go to the settings and the deployment descriptor and the event listeners within that. So here the event listener, a new event listener needs to be specified and I'm going to use the uh, audit logger factory which is available as a part of uh, the JBPM package itself. So if you see the source code for this audit logger factory we can see that there is a method called new JMS instance and this would help to connect to the messaging provider uh, that we wanted to which to which we wanted to publish the audit data so let's use this audit logger factory dot new JMS instance and it expects three parameters first the first one being uh, whether it's transacted or not which determines if the JMS session is transacted or not the second one is the connection factory and the third one is the JMS queue itself to which the audit data needs to be published. Um, so this can be specified, these three arguments can be specified. The first one we can say that it's the transacted is true and the second one is the connection factory. Now in order to get the connection factory we can use the basic Java X naming initial context or do lookup and the we need to specify the JNDA name of the connection factory that we need to use and again that we can get from the messaging provider configuration that we have specified uh, let's go to the runtime and view default this is the one we are using and this is the queue we have defined and the connection factory name is here the JNDA name is here Java JBoss default JMS connection factory and that is the name the JNDA name that we can give here and then the next one is the the queue name 
uh, that we need to provide to the Java X naming initial context to look up and the queue name is again something which we can the J and A name of the queue can be taken from the configuration that we have done earlier which is Java JMS queue KE audit and that's it with this being said now any audit information that the JBPM project is going to generate will start sending the audit events to the external JMS in addition to the persistence of the audit data into the audit database uh, that's been configured. Let's see uh, how this works now. So I've deployed this project. Now let's go and uh, create a new process instance and before that uh, let's just go back to the console uh, and let's see that the actual message count in this KAE audit queue is now zero that means there are no messages now let's see what happens when a new process instance that is based on this particular project where we have configured the external JMS uh, audit logging let's submit so we see that the process instance is started and the control flow has uh, gone to the task step the first user task step let's go to the console back again and let's refresh and here we go we see that there are seven messages now that has come to this uh, audit queue and let's see what's in there so I have a small utility here called JMS browser which helps to see uh, what are the different messages that are there in the in a given queue let's do a search and let's select the queue which is KE audit and here we go we can see that the audit data related to the process instance audit data related to the variable instance and as well as the node instance all of these have got published to this particular queue and similarly uh, if the same project is distributed across multiple JBPM engines and if they those projects are also configured to connect to the same JMS messaging provider then the entire end-to-end audit log for the business process can be captured here and from here various types of process monitoring and uh, process auditing process tracking uh, KPA analysis and so on and so forth could be easily performed hope you like this video and thank you